Waffle Tech, what are you doing? There's a sunken boat in the Wisconsin River. There's a sunken boat in the Wisconsin River? Where are your dive partners? Me, myself, and I. What? Am I seeing double? I'm not sure. I didn't let anybody... Well, I told you I can't go diving during opening ceremonies. Oh, hi, Gigi. Oh, hi. Well... I never let anybody borrow my suits. Anyway, can you just start this thing? I'll just get this sorted out. All right, we'll do that. Um, welcome to Aquatifer. Um, as, you, as you may have been able to tell from all the wonderful decorations out there, our theme is sort of like this ghost pirate thing. Isn't it fun? <laughs> anyway. Um, as part of welcoming you guys to Aquatifer, I wanted to reach out and show you our guests of honor. Yeah, they're coming, I swear. Alright, so we have our guests of honor. You might know Kai. Kai, do you want to give a short introduction? Hello everybody, I'm Kai, I've known us at Crazy Canine, and it's so great to be here. This is my very first aquatifer, and oh my god, this place is really big, oh my god. Uh, so I'm from Colorado, or in California, so I flew all the way from California to get here. So um, anyway, so I'll be hosting a few panels. Uh, one panel tonight is called the Bad Fan Fiction Panel. So basically I'll be reading your worst bad fan fiction. Uh, it is 18 plus only though, so at 9 p.m. at the secondary room. And then tomorrow I'm going to be also hosting So You Want to Be a Fursuit Dancer. So if you guys want to learn more about dance, definitely come tomorrow 4 p.m. So thank you all for having me here. Love you all. Hello, I'm Chroma or Chromomancer. Um, I've been coming to Aquatifer for, um, uh, this is my third one. Um, and I'm an artist. I'm um, hoping to practice and improve and learn and do all sorts of fun things start. Um, I have a landscape study panel later today and a few more uh, various uh, digital painting panels throughout the weekend. Um, if anyone has questions, let me know and I'll do my best to help. And hopefully I'll be able to volunteer at more cons in the future. <laughs> Also, uh, Chromomancer drew the shirt, if you want to see it. They turned out marvelous. They did a great job. Alright, so, um, we would like to... Come up here, Wolf. Did you deal with the, my double vision problem? Yeah, I okay. need to get my eyes checked. So. Okay, me too. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm excited about the guests of honors, uh, but I'm also excited about our charity. So if I could have Brian come up and introduce our charity. Give me a second, my mouth's a little dry. I, I have these brownies left over from Denver, and for some reason I can't stop eating them. Uh, hey Kai, could you come out here really quick? I'm going to have Kai help me out here because I can't hold this and talk. How's everybody doing? There's people out there. I can't see anything. They really turn it's up the light. It's very off. bright. It is super bright. Okay. Um, so let's start with the usual charity stuff. Hi, I'm Bryant. I'm the guy that yells at you and tries to get your money from you any which way I can. For charity. For charity. And I have no shame. As you can see this year, we have another wonderful head provided by Heads and Tails. This one is a macaw. We will be raffling this off. And uh, if, if the charity wants to come up here really quick, yeah, we're going to be raising some money for some wonderful birds, including some macaws that we have here today. It's a bird! They're absolutely gorgeous. One of them is identical to this head. We didn't plan this. <laughs> so we're going to start off, just so you guys remember the way it always works, don't bring any money up here. We'll do that at the charity auction. But at the charity table, we'll be selling raffle tickets to win this head so you could be the bird. 
The tickets are one for $5, five for 20, 15 for 50, or 40 for 100. If you want to donate more than 100, first off, you're awesome, and we'll figure out a number. So, some charity events that are going to be going on this weekend, um, of course, instantly went away. So, starting with today, uh, first off, we're going to be in the dealer's den from 11 a.m., which is in the past, until 6 p.m., excluding opening ceremonies, where you're at right now, so you're not missing us. There will be a charity meet and greet here on the main stage at 1.30, where you can talk to the charity, meet their wonderful birds, who say really cool things. Hold on. Do you want, do you want to talk? No. You don't like the microphone? <laughs> she barks. Okay, um, at 5 p.m., uh, this is going to be in, in main stage, right, the charity dance-off? Yeah, yeah. Okay, at 5 p.m. here in the main stage, I'll be a charity dance-off. At 7 p.m. today, I'll be having the Van GOH panel, where our guests of honor, none of whom I think is actually a professional artist, will be painting along with Bob Ross as best they can. Well, Chromomancer is an artist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not a GOH lead Q. So one artist. So one of them is going to do a really good job, and we'll all laugh at Kai. Hi, Kai. <laughs> and my soul. Oh, you're going to do it too? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. Most oh. of the paint's going to wind up on you. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, then at 10 p.m., uh, there will be a beer pong tournament for charity where I will be participating. Uh, and you can take me on at beer pong for charity, and, you know, I'll be getting drunk and probably falling down. <laughs> And then 11.30 p.m., we will be having con horror stories. Do you have the exact rooms for those, or they're in the schedule? Right? Uh, it's, it, it's in the schedule currently online and in the book. Um, con horror stories is up in second area. So con horror stories, I just want to talk about that for one second. That is a great panel. Um, now, just, just to clarify, because I always like to put this out as many times as possible, it's the only panel at the con where we don't let you guys record, but you can take pictures. We are going to be talking about those fun, wacky events that, you know, you guys may not notice, but result in us basically frantically trying to pump water out of the sinking ship that is every convention ever. It's a good time. And we'll be collecting charity money. Basically, you bribe us, and the more money you give us, the more embarrassing stories we're going to tell you about the things we do wrong. Tomorrow, of course, the charity will be at in Dealer's Den from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and there will be another charity meet and greet in this room at 3 p.m. There's of course the uh, Guest of Honor dinner that is from 5 to 6. If you guys bought tickets, do we have any left for that or is that already closed? I am uncertain, but if there are any available, they will be available for purchase in Wrench. You should check that out because it's a really good time. Then there will be a Cornhole for Charity tournament. I just want to clarify that is where we throw bean bags into festively colored boards with holes in them for charity. For charity. And then, of course, the Guest of Honor Cocktail Hour. Now, that one I'm almost certain there's additional tickets for. If you're 21 or older, you can come in, have some you know, drinks for the cost of your cocktail hour ticket. You get to meet the Guest of Honor. I will be there. Um, last year, they made me squeeze lemons into my eyes at one of these, another convention, and beat my head against the table for charity. He deserved it, too. I always deserve it. And then, of course, on Sunday, we will have our charity auction. In this room from 3 to 5, we have all kinds of fun items, and we'll be raffling off the head. Hold it high, Kai. Hey, I'm alliterating a lot today. Now I'm going to turn the microphone over to our actual charity themselves, and they can talk a little bit about what they do, why it's awesome, and why you should give them all of your money, because let's face it, you're furries. Nobody in this room was going to pay rent this month anyway. <laughs> I know, you want to eat the microphone. <laughs> we are Feathered Friends Rescue and Sanctuary, and we have about 75 birds just outside of Stoughton. And um, all of the donations we use will go towards feeding, toys, vet bills. Are you going to eat the microphone? <laughs> and everything like that. Um, we also do events like these to get the word out that there are parrots for adoption if you're interested. Um, I'm sure we have a bunch of business cards at our table in the dealer's den. Right, 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 right. Right, don't eat the microphone. I can hear Senshi's teeth cracking in the back every time she does that. I'm going to turn, turn the microphone back over to Kiggy, and I'm going to get off the stage because you're all tired of hearing me talk. Oh, wasn't too bad. Thank you to our feathered friends.
Yeah, just in case you don't know where they're at, uh, it's just south of Madison, so they're a local um, charity, and that's what I'm very proud about is they're like only about an hour away from here. So anyway, um, I know you guys all probably have a Twitter. I know that you possibly have a second Twitter, but I don't need to know about it. Uh, but we do have a Twitter account. We also have other social media aspects, including our website and stuff, and we want you to post appropriate pictures, uh, water park, etc. But I'm going to leave this over to Beagle, our PR director, to tell you more about how to do that. Hey guys, I'm Beagle. I am your PR and social media director for this convention. And uh, how many guys, how many of you guys are ready to have some fun this weekend? <laughs> so I just like to remind you that the best way to have fun is to make all your friends jealous by showing them how much of a good time you're having here. So just go on uh, your social media and post uh, all the pictures, videos, and cool things that you like. And I just wanted to tell you that our official hashtag for Aquatifer 2019 is hashtag Aquatifer 2019 with a capital F. It's really hard to remember, right? The capital F. Is it Aquatifer capital F no, and 2019? Hashtag Aquatifer 2019, but you got to capitalize the F. Okay, okay. Also, um, if you haven't already, you can follow our uh, Twitter page at Aquatifer and our Aquatifer announcements channel on Telegram to keep up to date with all the uh, main events happening. We'll be posting live updates throughout the con. Yes. Hang hot potato with microphone. All right, thanks, Spiegel. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions, you can always message them on the Twitter too. Um, oh, you don't get cold. Um, you won't. All right. Uh, just in case you want to tweet about that, that's uh, Aquatifer, capital M. He's okay. 2019. He's I swear. Okay. <laughs> we, we love our beagle. All right. So, um, how many of you guys are excited for panels this weekend? So, something new this year is we have a fourth panel room. Yes. This is the first that we've had in the third year now of this convention. But, I'm not going to talk much about it because there's someone who I want to introduce and that's Amicus, our programming lead. Good afternoon, everyone. All right, so I want to give you guys a little bit of updates. I'll talk about panel room four in just a moment. But first of all, we are going to be keeping the online schedule the most up to date. So if there's any changes, we'll be posting an announcement on our social media that there is a change. And as you're going through, I'd recommend going on to aquatifer.com and then under attending, attending, there's an arrow and you'll find a label for panel scheduling. That will be our most up to date. And if you did save the first image posted on Twitter um, for our schedule, that might be a little out of date because there are some panels missing and some late registration that uh, went on with some panel attendees. So some things had to change here and there. So as long as you keep on checking the online schedule, you'll be fine. You'll find everything you need. Secondly, talking about the panel rooms. So we changed up downstairs a little bit. Downstairs has panel three, panel four. That's also where the Art Jam and Gaming Room is located. We're actually sharing, as you remember last year, Art Jam and Gaming shared a room. What we're doing this time is we're having Gaming all the way on the left. We're actually having panel four in the middle, and then uh, the Art Jam near the windows. But then to get to panel three, we're not going to be using that hallway on the side anymore. We're actually going to be walking in between panel four and the gaming room to get to the entrance because we're going to be having everyone badge in at that first door so don't please don't use that side hallway to get to panel room three like you did last year awesome and lastly charity events definitely go to them i have had tons of fun going to every single one usually i give money even though i really shouldn't because i need to pay rent but it's just fun and even if you see a panel that isn't labeled as charity, a lot of our fantastic panelists have been doing their own little charities to help give their, their small amounts to the bigger charity and give it to the con in general. So even if it uh, doesn't say charity, be ready with your wallets. 
Hope you all have a wonderful convention. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Amicus. Yeah, like you said, all the updates will always be online. Um, if there's any major changes, they'll also be uh, announced via our social media. Um, so anyway, uh, since Amicus and crew is all under events team, I kind of lost a bet over the break between 2018 asterisk to here. And I kind of have to do a raffle now. So I'm actually for 2020 going to be offering out of my own wallet a, uh, a, a, rep, a attendee level badge for a quadrifer. But there's a catch. One of the staff members has the password and it's themed to the convention and you have to figure it out. Uh, what is going on? What do we have? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, okay, um, you're blocking my view, but here you go. Here's the sheets. Here, here's the pen. If you figure out the password, uh, I, the only hint I'll give you is it is an events team staffer that knows the password. You have to say it with them, and then they'll let you sign up on the sheet, and they will be announced at closing ceremonies. So. Now, since they just raided my booty, uh, we're going to have Kiggy announce our badge winners. All right, so as some of you may have seen on Twitter and various other social media things, is that we had, we had a badge contest. Um, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday day badges all have artwork from people that have won the badge contest. Um, and the three winners were, and hopefully I get the names pronounced right, uh, Omnirock, uh, Choo Choo, and The Road Cat. Um, all the artwork was marvelous, and please look for these day badges around the convention to check them out. Um, and this concludes what we have for today at opening ceremonies. Obviously, there is a lot of other events going on and you guys should have tons of fun. Um, if you encounter any questions or need to notify us of something, say a water station running low, uh, try to find someone in a shirt like this. Um, we are the crew of this ship and arr, hopefully arr. we can... Arr. Arr. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and we should try to help you. Um, additionally, I want to say it should be obvious, but please don't break the hotel. Um, please be nice to the hotel. They have been wonderful to us, and we want to be wonderful to them. Anybody been to the water park yet? Anybody been in the hot spring yet? There's a yes. hot spring. There is a hot spring right over there. I went in it last night. It was magnificent. <laughs> But anyway, all you guys have fun, and I'll see you around the convention. Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver got your man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.